well, this is hilarious though that I'm using a uh, HomePod <laughs> to place my two HDMI cables. But anyway, doesn't matter. You guys are probably gonna have a laugh of this. Sorry, Siri. So anyway, what I'm gonna do in this video, it's gonna be a few simple steps of tests that I'm gonna do. The first step I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna compare to see the amount of seconds it takes between getting the signal from 2.0 HDMI and then getting the signal from 2.1 HDMI. Now, let me just tell you right off the bat, technically speaking, I think they're gonna be about the same uh, amount of seconds in signal. And the reason I'm saying this is because currently right now in the market, there are no television sets or uh, devices that support 2.1 HDMI chipsets, meaning that the chipset uh, HTCP 2.2 that's built inside the device on both TV and uh, external device like Xbox One X or 4K Blu-ray player, they will only support 18 megabits per second. They're not going to support 48 megabits per second. So the, the data speed will not be allowed. Okay. And that's just from a technical point of view. Okay. That's just the way it is. So I don't care what anybody says. You will not be able to take the advantage of 2.1 cable at the moment. But I'm going to do these tests anyway because I promised I will do them just to show you and give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay, that's what this video is about. Okay, I know how this technology works. I wasn't born yesterday. I wasn't dropped onto this planet like an hour ago. I get it. But I'm doing this as a test. A benefit of a doubt, if you will. So let's go ahead. Let's first start with HDMI 2.0. And I'm going to see how long, how many seconds it will take for the signal to be reached onto the HDMI 2 signal uh, input. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to HDMI 3. That's where my HDMI 2.0 cable is connected. And I'm gonna count to seconds to see how long it's gonna take for the signal to be picked up. So let's switch to HDMI 3. Right over here. Let's count. One, two. So about two seconds. Took about two seconds for the signal to be reached here on Sony X900E. Okay, let's do it again. Let's uh, count and switch the seconds to see how many seconds it will take. I mean, let's switch the HDMI inputs to see how many seconds it will take. So let's go switch to HDMI, HDMI 3 where my 2.0 cable it's connected. Please remember, currently I have my 2.0 cable connected, which is a high speed 2.0 cable. Let's count to seconds. Let's click on HDMI uh, input three. One, two, two seconds. So as you can see, it takes about two seconds for the signal to be picked up. And that's pretty good. You know, that's pretty good for a uh, high speed HDMI cable. So now we're going to go ahead and switch back to Belkin HDMI 2.1 cable. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to count to see how many seconds it takes. I personally think it's going to be the same due to the fact that the television and device only have a 2.0 chipset built into it. Meaning that you cannot unlock that uh, 48 megabits per second. Okay, You cannot unlock that kind of a data speed transfer. All right, so let's switch to HDMI 2.1. Remember, this is a test. I'm just testing. So let's go ahead and let's uh, switch to HDMI 2.1. Okay, so I have plugged in my HDMI 2.1, and it's going to be on HDMI 2 input. And we're going to count to seconds. Let's do this. So let's count to seconds. Remember, it's going to be HDMI 2.1 right now, currently. We have HDMI 2.1. And I'm going to tell you, ready, go, start. One, two, two seconds. But I'll tell you what, I did notice one thing, guys. And I got to be honest with you. I did notice one 
thing here. And I just want you to know that I'm not bullshitting. As you know, I am not sponsored by anybody. I'm not put on the chains. Nobody has strings attached to me. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. I did notice that the screen becomes much brighter when I connect it to HDMI 2.1. The signal, it's about the same response time. It's about two seconds. That's equal to 2.0. But the one thing I just noticed is just how brighter the uh, the picture is. Let me switch back to uh, 2.0 just to see. I'm going to keep it like this. I'm going to count to three seconds and I'm going to switch back to 2.0 just to see if the the brightness will be dimmed down if the picture won't be that brighter. So let me switch back to 2.0. One, two, three. And I gotta tell you guys, uh, HDMI 2.1 does give a brighter uh, contrast, does give a brighter color. Like the, the color becomes more vibrant, becomes more, uh, brighter the the entire picture quality becomes more brighter and i'm using exactly the same uh calibration on all of these hdmis i set them on a game default all four hdmi inputs are set on a game default so i'm not playing any tricks here i'm not trying to uh bullshit something and cook up something for you uh everything is set on the same Presets, same default presets. Game, game, game. Default presets. So maybe I can bring my camera a little bit closer and I can maybe switch back to HDMI 2.1 just so you guys can see how brighter the picture becomes. So let me bring my camera closer. So here, as you can see, NBA 2K18 cover. I mean, it looks decent, but it looks nowhere nearly bright enough than when I connect it to 2.1. You'll see as soon as I connect this to a 2.1 HDMI cable, you will notice how brighter the colors and the picture will be in about three seconds. One, two, three. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it, it just becomes much brighter. The colors pop out a little bit brighter, man. And everything I'm using, it's a game mode here. It's a, it's exactly same game mode default settings. And it just becomes a little bit brighter. The screen becomes brighter. As soon as I go back to HDMI 2.0, you will not see this uh, color brightness. It's not going to pop out out of the screen. Let me go back to HDMI 2.0 and you will see exactly just uh, how much of this color is going to dim down. How much of, of this color brightness you're going to lose and that's probably due to the fact that the hdmi 2.1 supports this dynamic hdr it supports uh it's made for the hdr like it supports hdr the, in the best possible ways and here we are with the hdmi 2.0 and it just looks bleak it looks kind of like not as bright uh, as I was expecting it to be uh, with the HDMI 2.1 everything becomes more brighter. It looks just better Okay, so uh, What have we learned from this cable between these two cables? Well now one thing we learned is the fact that you will not notice any substantial speed of the signal between each HDMI cable It's about same two seconds for the signal to be picked up. So you're not gonna see uh, boost speed and uh, performance on this cable. You will not notice that. And the reason you're not going to notice any boost speed on the cable, it's because the uh, HDMI chipset that's built inside this device and also Xbox One X, uh, they don't support more than 18 uh, megabits per second. Okay, they cannot unlock that 48 megabits per second, that kind of bandwidth, okay? However, I did notice that picture got a little bit brighter. Uh, a, a color got a little bit brighter. What I'm trying to say is I noticed color being more brighter and contrast being more present. That's probably due to the fact that this uh, HDMI 2.1 cable 
reads the uh, UHD color much better. Uh, even though this is not HDR, but you still have UHD color on. So it's depicting that static metadata and it's inputting that color output much better than the 2.0, in my opinion. Maybe I can do one more test. Maybe I can uh, go to the NBA 2K18 and pause the uh, the game and, and show the, the arena and the uh, characters and then switch back between the cable just to see if there's any substantial difference in uh, brightness of color. And even my friend uh, uh, Wayne Strudwick, when he was doing a test, he noticed that uh, the HMI 2.1 was a little bit brighter in color. That That was the only thing that he noticed, that it was a bit brighter. All right, so currently what you're looking at, it's the uh, HDMI 2.0, and this is how it looks. It looks pretty good. You know, I don't like, uh, I don't have no complaints about it. To me, it looks pretty good. Uh, the characters look uh, very detailed and sharp. So there's definitely a good strong bitrate of a signal here. I don't see any like uh, problems with a bitrate. It looks pretty outstanding. This is 2.0. So let's go switch back to 2.1 HDMI to see if we're going to see any difference at all in about three seconds. One, two, three. All right, I did notice, here we are, HDMI 2.1. I did notice that the, uh, the picture becomes brighter, like the color becomes more brighter uh, on the screen. And that's the only difference that I noticed here uh, on this HDMI 2.1 cable, honestly. That's like the only thing that I'm noticing right now is that the, uh, it's a bit brighter. Maybe we can leave it here. So that's something that I'm noticing here. Uh, that's the only thing I noticed. It's just, a, it, what I mean by brightness, I mean that the color, it's not like, bleak you know the color becomes uh, more brighter it's almost like a live color it's set to like a super ultra high uh, and uh, this is not for me obviously because I left everything on a default on a game mode default the entire HDMI setups are set to the game default calibration settings but I did notice that when I switch back to HDMI 2.1 I do notice HDR becomes brighter this game does support HDR and 4K and everything becomes much brighter. When I switch back to 2.0, uh, it's still bright, but it, it's, it's bleak. It's like, it's bleak bright. It's not like super vibrant bright. So let me go back to 2.0. Uh, we'll keep it like this and let's see how uh, it looks in about three seconds. One, two, three. Here we are on uh, HDMI 2.0. It's just not, it's just not bright enough, guys. There's just that bleak brightness. I mean, there is the HDR, but it's just, it's hard for you guys to see this through a camera. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing, and I don't see that um, that HDR brightness from 2.0 as I see it with 2.1. With 2.1, it just becomes much. Uh, vibrant here maybe I can go ahead and uh, keep it like this and go back to 2.1 just to kind of like uh, give you some idea I'll, I'll, I'll bring it close like this uh, I'll keep it like this very close and then uh, you guys can maybe decide for yourself so I'll keep it like this in about three seconds I'm gonna switch to 2.1 one two three and it's just brighter, like the HDR is just brighter, man. With the 2.1, everything's become much brighter. Even the deep dark levels become like substantially improved and brighter. Uh, so what I'm trying to say, the only difference I see, it's in HDR, it's in color. So if you want to buy this cable for HDR, I mean, this is it. I would highly recommend you buy this cable for the HDR. But also, this cable is future-proof. Remember, when you buy these cables, you're going to be future-proof for another 7, 8, 10 years. All right, with the 2.1 uh, HDMI chipsets when they start rolling out. So I think this cable, definitely, it's a future-proof. But do you really need it currently right now? I wouldn't say that you really need it right now. But they're not expensive. They're really cheap. They're like 30 bucks. 
they're not that expensive and uh, I do think you get a uh, brighter HDR color. So if you are playing a lot of HDR games, you'll definitely notice a brighter HDR color. Uh, in terms of speed, it's the same response time. It's the same, you know, two point, it's the same two seconds uh, response. I showed you the test in the beginning when I was switching between HDMI inputs. It was exactly the same uh, amount of seconds it took between 2.0 and 2.1. It took about two seconds to, to get the signal on the HDMI. So you're not going to see any difference in speed. The speed is going to be the same. However, you will notice a brighter HDR. That's what I noticed here. And also that's Wayne Strudwick, my friend. That's what he noticed as well. And a bunch of other people told me that too, that the HDR is a bit brighter. And I, I'm inclined to tell you that it's true. But in terms of a speed, you're not going to see any differences in speed. That's due to the fact that the HDMI 2.0 chipset, HDCP 2.2, it's not built to unlock that kind of speed. You know. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Hopefully this uh, video was informative. Remember, all I'm doing here is testing. And I'm letting you know what I'm seeing. I'm letting you know my experience. Okay, you don't have to believe this. You don't have to trust me. You know, you're entitled and inclined to your opinions. That's fine. But you have to remember that uh, I'm unbiased. I'm not sponsored. Uh, even though I do monetize my videos and I do make money off of this here and there. And I'm not hiding the fact that I do. However, no one sponsors me. I'm not sponsored by Bell Clinton. I'm not sponsored by Sony, Microsoft, anybody. So therefore, everything you see here, it's bought with my own hard-earned cash, and I give you my honest opinion. I'm here just to tell you what I'm seeing, visual concept of what I'm seeing. If you don't want to, if you don't want to believe it, well, too bad. You can go to some other channel and see what they say. But I'm just telling you what I'm experiencing here. This is a test. I just want to make that clear. But even though I'm making this clear, for some of you trolls out there, this is not going to probably ring a bell because you don't care. You just come to my channel to troll. But just do remember one thing. I don't pay attention to you. Just remember that. You'll never, ever get my attention. Ever, never. All right, guys. So there you have it. There's more tests that are going to be coming in for this cable. Uh, it's going to take a while, guys. You have to remember I work my other job. So for me to do these videos takes a lot of time for me to do this. And I want to do it properly. I want to spend time. I want to get it right. So you have to be patient with me, okay? I will test everything, but it'll take a time for me to test all of these, uh, you know, consoles and equipment and, and projectors and whatnot. I do want to test the projector to see how projector works with the uh, HDMI 2.1 cable. I do want to test that on my BenQ. I think there I might see a little bit of differences in HDR brightness, so we'll see. So there you have it. If you didn't like the video, too freaking bad. If you liked the video, cool. All right, guys. Take care.